Originally designed to cast on rivers where high banks prevent a back cast, the two-handed rod has been redesigned to perform in many different angling situations. Learning to cast one of these rods is not as hard as it looks. Watch as Mike shows us the two most common casts, the double spay and the circle C. So one of the things we thought we'd go over today was explain a few common terms uh, that uh, relate to spay casting. So one of the first ones is understanding river left and river right and what that means. So basically when you're facing downstream, river left is that side of the river and river right is this side of the river. The key reason to understand the terminology of river left and river right is to determine where you're going to put your anchor or where you're going to place your anchor on a cast such as a double spay cast or a circle C cast, and more importantly, to understand your anchor placement when it comes to an upstream wind or a downstream wind. Now that we've explained river left and river right, let's go through the double spay cast where we have a downstream breeze, we're on river right, and we want our anchor placement down below us so the wind keeps the line away from us. So to do the double spay, one key thing is get your feet placed in the right direction you want to cast. We're going to place our anchor a rod length away on the same angle we're going to cast, and then we come around on the downwind side, and we do our double spay cast out on the angle and swing it through. So of the two casts you need to learn when you're starting out spay casting, first was the double spay, which we just went through. The second one is the circle C. And the reason it's important is it allows you to put an anchor upstream when you're on river right. We just demonstrated a double spay with a downstream anchor. Now we're going to demonstrate the circle C with an upstream anchor in case the wind's blowing upstream like it is here right now. Place the anchor upstream a rod length away there, then you come around right into your cast downstream and cast it out. So again, the anchor placement was right here a rod length away to line up on the angle you want to shoot. Show that once more. Just going to throw it downstream to get into position. Lift, oops, sorry. Throw it downstream to get into position. Do a circle C, come around, and throw that line out on the angle we want to swing it. Man, oh man, he walloped that. He just walloped it. I got to try to keep my line out of the water. If I allow my line to sink in the water, it adds extra resistance. This is a really, really good fish. He's gone for another run. I have to let him run. I can't follow him. So I have to give him line. Don't try to resist him if he wants to run. Oh man, that's a good fish. <laughs> One thing about steelhead in the fall, they're a whole lot stronger than they are in the spring. A little side pressure to get him out of, away from that rock, Ooh. and he's going to run again. Oh man, good fish. Nice fish, Bill. Good fish. Keep that rod up, keep that line from around those rocks. So Bill, what were you exactly doing with the fly when that fish hit? It was on the swing. He, uh, I tried dead drifting it, and then I pulled it under for a swing, and that's when he grabbed it, and there was no doubt about it. Absolutely none. Okay, so I'm going to just guide your line. I want okay. you to keep pressure on it, just like that. We got a little net here and a big steelhead. Oh, man. Beautiful. Mikey. Beautiful. Mikey. There we go. Nice fish. Well. <laughs> Good work. That's beautiful. That's another pushing double digits. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.